uh, I'm happy and grateful to be before you guys uh, once again for the Believe Bigger Faster call. Uh, what a phenomenal weekend it's been. Uh, the I Believe experience, uh, it, it was phenomenal. It was absolutely phenomenal. And uh, to, tonight, uh, I wanna go over how to harness the excitement of an event and transition it into financial results. Um, it's important that you understand uh, that the information you just heard over this weekend has to be transitioned into actionable items. Um, I want to just read uh, the write-up that I wrote for this call earlier for, for this Believe Bigger Faster call. Uh, January 17th and 18th of 2020, I attended the Run to Play conference, the Run to Play 2 conference that Chairman 100, Justin Owens held. I attended that event with me. I attended that event with me and my wife, uh, Lady King and Cash, Christina Dyson. Um, being double platinum 1000s, <laughs> excuse me, double platinum 1000s when that event uh, happened, when that event took place. So coming out of that event, um, this is what took place. February 27, 2020, 40 days after the event, I got back to platinum, one, platinum 2000, all right? Eight days later, March 6, 2020, that was my son's birthday, uh, Christina got to Platinum 2000, right? 32 days after that, I hit Platinum 5000 on April 7, 2020, right? 20 day, 21 days later, my wife hit Platinum 5000. Now we're at $10,000 a month, right? And 36 days after that, I hit Chairman 10 on June 3rd, 2020, on my wife's birthday, All right? Chairman 10. And how, how did that happen? How was that able to take place, All right? And that's what I wanna talk about tonight because um, you can take the information that you hear at an event and transition it into elevation. You can transition it into physical results. Now, how do you do? <coughs> Excuse me. How do you do that? So I'm gonna break this call up to, into four sections, 15 minute increments, and I'm gonna try to stay on schedule today. So the first 15 minutes of this call, or for the next 10 minutes, I want to evaluate what we heard. Right? This weekend, first of all, drop some fire emojis if your life was changed as a result of the I Believe uh, experience. Drop some fire emojis in the chat if you feel like I feel. I just wanna make sure that <laughs> you guys feel the same way I feel. Um, and if you missed it, this is one of the reasons why you don't wanna miss events. Because the I Believe experience this weekend was a mirror. It was a mirror. This, this event showed you who you were and it showed you who you can be in the future, which is right now. And we have a responsibility now that we know better, now that we have the information that we have we have a responsibility to move towards that vision, to become who we saw in the mirror. I know for me, this weekend showed me who I was, right? The good, the bad, and the ugly. And I just thank God for the ability to grow and change. Um, if you heard that information over the last three days, you grew this weekend, no doubt in my mind. We're different, right? We're not the same person that we were on Thursday, July 22nd, 2021. Mentally speaking, 
scientifically speaking, just like Dr. Caroline Leaf explained, we are literally different. We are biologically different, right? Because we grew mentally. Now, in order to make this mental shift, in order to take this excitement that you have right now, right? In order to hold on to this mental change and transition into financial results, there's some things that we must execute. There's some things that we must do. So the next 72 hours coming out of this event is going to be extremely important. These next 72 hours are going to determine how the flow of the next 90 days will be. It will authenticate what you have learned and the growth. The evidence of a paradigm shift is a difference in movement. Right? So here's a list of questions that you need to ask yourself. Now, this is recorded, so you're going to have to watch this more than once because there's a, quite a few questions here. All right? Take notes if you can. Maybe voice record with your, with your phone if you want to, but I'm going to drop the recording of this so you can hear it again. But here's some questions that you need to ask yourself, right? What notes did I take that I can transition into actionable steps to move me towards my goals? So here's what you need to do. You need to go over your notes and transition them into actionable items, things you can implement, right, consistently to get results. Because those notes that you took, the, the revelations that you received have to be transitioned into something, some activity that's actually going to yield a result and move you toward your goals, right? What's going to change about your daily routine, right? What is, the, what is the person who has everything that I desire doing on a daily basis? What is that image of yourself, that person that has reached all the goals you set? What is that person doing on a daily basis in your future? And whatever those daily activities are, you got to come back into the present and implement some of those things or all of those things now. That's how you move your life towards what it is that you want. What's going to change about my mornings? Millie Mills talked about this. She talked about the morning routine. If you don't have a morning routine, then you need to develop one tonight. What are you going to do? What's the first things that you're going to do in the morning to set your day up for success? Right? Ask yourself this. What do I desire? What do I desire? What am I working for? What is my five reasons why? See, now it's time for everybody, all of us. Everybody has to revisit their five reasons why. And you, you need to be doing this consistently anyway, right? You, you need to revisit those. You need to evaluate, are these strong enough? Are my why strong enough, right? What's going to excite you about doing the activities? What are the five things that you are going to manifest into your life in 2021, right? My wife and I, we'll talk about me and my wife for a second. Uh, we hit Chairman 10 together, right? We hit Platinum 5,000 in her account together. Um, but my motivation for myself, the reason why I did it was her my wife. I wanted to make her proud. 
I wanted to thank her for her belief over all these years, not just the three years to that point that we were in the company, but for believing in me since she married me. I wanted Christina to be excited for the new levels that we were achieving and for us to make even plans to go achieve more, which we've done already, right? I wanted to make my kids proud. I care about what my kids think of me. I care about how my kids view me, right? I wanted them to see me and Christina believe for something and achieve it. I wanted my children to see me win. I wanted Paris to be rewarded for all the time that he invested in me and my wife for believing in us. I wanted his belief in me and Christina to be authenticated. I wanted him to be rewarded for his deposits that he's made into our life, right? I wanted to show as A and B that they could do it too. I wanted to inspire them. They were part of the reason that Christina and I got it done. They believed in us. They cheered for us while we were doing it. I wanted to inspire Javon and Jasmina and Bev and Donovan and, and Tremaine and Tap and Amber and Chaz and, and Ben and so many others on the team that was there during that time that they could do it too. I wanted to show it could be done. I want it to be one of the catalysts that can say belief works. I wanted to move my life towards the Paris Simmons and the Jaleesa Yancey's and the David Imonitiers and, right? And uh, the Justin Owens and the Riyadh Jones, uh, the Sydney Jones, the, De the Gary McSqueens, the DL Keanu Woods, the, the Yvonne and Monica Tapias, the, the Alex Mortens. And I, I, we just wanted to elevate. We wanted to get there. We desire more. My desire was strong coming out of that event. And what we did was we made very purposeful changes. Change is the lightning rod to elevation. We have to authenticate the change. I believe a paradigm shift is taking place. Right? I believe that we're all more aware of what needs to get done to get to the next level. And I believe that the next season in your life, the next level of financial increase, the next season of financial elevation, the next season of greater influence, the season of stepping into your purpose boldly is right now, right now. So you gotta increase that desire, right? And these are the last questions I wanna give you. What is your schedule gonna look like? What is your ultimate goal? When is this goal gonna be completed by? What are the obstacles that can keep you from reaching these goals? And watch this, you gotta list the people, the environments, 
the activities, the habits, list anything that could stand in the way of you and your goal. You gotta identify the enemies because if you know your enemy, you can defeat your enemy. And you gotta make a plan of attack to go get your goals and you gotta make a plan of attack against your distractions. It might be a season where you gotta separate from Netflix. You gotta separate from sports. You gotta separate from certain quote unquote friends, certain conversations, certain environments, certain places. Who, you will, who will you be working with to make these goals happen? You gotta identify where your help and instructions will come from. And you gotta identify who you're going to help, who you are going to inspire, who you're going to encourage, where you're gonna do it at. Because what we do for others comes back to us. Right? And the last thing you got to identify is what's in it for you? How will you reward yourself for achieving your goal? Who will benefit as a result of you achieving your goals? These are all things uh, you got to spend some time setting up this period of extreme elevation. You can have a quantum leap over these next few weeks. Doesn't matter what happened before. Remember, we don't live in the past. We only learn from the past. We live in our future, which is the now. All right? You won't understand that unless you were at the event. You should Don't miss the next one. That's all I got to say. Right? These next 15 minutes, I want to talk about some event takeaways. Now, I'm not going to get through all of this. I got a whole lot of them. A whole lot of them. But I just want to read off some of the things that I heard. All right? Um, and I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just go. So for the next 15 minutes, let's go. So Cassandra House absolutely crushed it. She said, everything you want is already inside of you. It's done. And it's, watch this, everything you want is attached to a feeling. She said, we as human beings, we don't chase things. We chase the feeling attached to the thing. Right? And, and that's why you got to identify now that money isn't everything, right? And things aren't everything because those feelings are fleeting. Once you get the car, you'll like it for a while. Once you have enough money to buy whatever car you want, you'll get tired of buying cars. Then what? Ladies, once you have all the money that you want, that you, that you want, and you can go shopping, you can buy whatever you want. Eventually, you get tired of buying things. You get tired, like... You're chasing the feeling. And, but what she, what she was unpacking was all of it, everything you want, it's already inside of you. You have it already. You're carrying it. The person you want to become is living in you right now. You just got to move yourself towards manifesting that person. She said, choose love over fear. Watch this. Love of your vision versus the fear of failure. Choose the love of your vision over the fear of failure. Basically, don't let the fear of fa failure paralyze you from even attempting to go after what it is that you want. Right? She said, everything is perfect. It's all meant to be. I love that. I love that perspective. Everything is perfect. No matter what's going on in your life, no matter what 
obstacle you got to overcome, no matter what it is, everything is perfect, right? Not, everything is, everything that's happening to you is happening for you. Shout out to Paris. Heard that before. Somebody very wise told me that. Shout out to Paris Simmons, right? I heard this, like I took notes of what I was hearing while I was listening to the speaker. This is what I, I heard this before. So while she was talking, I wrote this down. You are the director in your own movie. Don't live like an extra in your own movie. You're the director. You get to write the script to your life. And there's a lot of people who go through life living like an extra in their own movie. You know, an extra is the person in the movie that you just see walking by in the background. They don't have no speaking part. They just there. Some people live their life like that. And watch this. This, this weekend, it raised our awareness to the fact that the main idea is you're in control of everything. While she was speaking, I literally heard that. That was the analogy that came to mind. We're in control. The results that you desire are already there with you. She said, ooh. She said, what you see in others is what's inside of you. If you spot it, you've got it. Mm. And that works on the positive side and the negative side. She said, but if you look at people with the eyes of love, you'll always be receiving love. And what I wrote in addition to that, this is what I heard. Be careful of what you pay attention to. Pay attention. Your attention costs you something. Or your attention will reap you something. Right? What did David say? What you see is what you say yes to. The word eyes, the last three letters is yes. So what you see, you pay it. What you see is what you're saying yes to. So be careful what you pay attention to. David E. Monitier, he said, your mind is like the garden. It's the soil. The words which are spirit is the seed. The words get planted in the soil, which is the mind. And whatever is planted will always bring back abundance. Now, here's what I heard. This, I don't got time to listen to this. This is what I heard. Watch this. He said, your mind is the garden, right? It's the soil. The words which are spirit. I said, wait a minute. He said, the words are spirit. What you speak should be born out of who you are, which is a spirit. And we are like God. We're made in his image, right? So therefore, our words that we speak should always be a reflection of what's good. <laughs> and since we have whatever we say, since faith comes by hearing and we can hear what we say, our own words, our words should always be spoken out of our spirit. Right, we should be speaking things as though they are. Speak only to edify, declare, and decree things. Watch your words. Set a guard over your words. Literally think before you speak. Like watch this, what if whatever you said came to pass immediately? This is what I literally started taking notes on. What if you what if, what if whatever you said out of your mouth came to pass immediately? What would you say? And here's the, another question: Why don't we behave that way now? Mm. Because 
everything you say does come to pass. See, what I did was I identified the problem. The problem is that some of us don't really believe our words have power. If we saw an immediate result from what we said, we would speak differently. If we saw immediate results, remember, remember when David was, was talking about the wheel of belief, remember how the whole crowd's demeanor changed, like their level of celebration went higher when he started talking about the wheel of belief. And then he made the point that you get excited about what you see. <laughs> so watch this. So we should, we should speak only as if everything we see, right? Excuse me. We should speak as if everything we say, we will see. It's a, that, that hit me a way different. When he said, he was like, your mind is the garden, it's the soil. The words which are spirit is the seed. And I started thinking about that. Wait a minute. The words are spirit. Oh, I don't got time. Y'all, you, you just let that sizzle in your spirit. Just think about that. But anyway, whatever is planted, he said, whatever is planted will always bring back abundance. Again, the main idea is this. You're in control of the results. Whatever result you want, plant the seed that leads to it. So, so the power is in the planting. <sighs> Strength is so fire, man. The power is in the planting. The power is in the activity that you put your hands to, that you put your mouth to, that you put your mind to. He said the will, your will works in tandem with the words that you're speaking. Again, you got power over your will. This thing is, <laughs> he made it so simple. Your results are all under your control. He said, uh, your emotions, which are feelings, right? Oh, no, no, this is what I wrote. While he was talking, this is what I wrote. I wrote, your emotions, your feelings are a magnet that brings whatever you vibrate with. So we got to be very careful, very intentional. I remember Millie, she said, wake up happy every day. Right? She said, wake up happy every day. And, and that, that brings me back to what I just wrote. What I said, your emotions, which are your feelings, are a magnet that brings whatever you vibrate with. Thing was good, man. All right, so what this this one part was really, really like when I take notes, I try to write the notes, but also the in-between part, the middle of of the of the statement being said. He said, train your mind with your spirit. I said, hmm. He said, train your mind with your spirit. The question I had when I wrote that, I said, well, how do you do that? And the answer was clear. I went back to the word. The answer is you train it with the word. How do you train your mind with your spirit? The answer is you train it with the word. You see, you can't train your spirit. Your spirit is already perfect. Your spirit is the real you. You are a spirit. You possess a soul. You live in a body, right? So when a car goes past and let's say you see your, your mom in the, in the car and your mom, let's say your mom's name is uh, uh, Karen or not Karen. Let's say <laughs> your mom's name is uh, Michelle, right? You see Michelle in the car right? You don't say, hey, there goes car. You say, there goes Michelle. Well, Michelle is inside 
of the car. You, spirit, are inside of your body, right? So your spirit is in agreement with God. You have to get your soul in line with your spirit. That's what you control. You control your soul. And your soul is your thinker, your feeler, right? It's what has the experiences and processes the experiences. Watch this. This is so good. So if you submit yourself, your spirit, under the word, right? The word is God. With your soul, essentially, you will be training your mind with your spirit because your spirit is one with God. So God will be influencing your mind with your spirit. You might have to listen to that again. I got to keep moving or I'll be here all night. But that train your mind with your spirit, just meditate on that. That's good, boy. I'm telling you. All right. Speak. No, let me skip down. Let me skip down. Let me skip down. For the next three minutes, I'm going to skip to the bottom because I got a bunch. Uh, he said, things you can control, activity and attitude. Things you can control, activity and attitude. That's so important to understand. Again, you're in control of your results. That's what I heard. You're in control of your results. Right? Create the image in your mind of the person you want to become. And keep it there. Don't move off of it. Create the image in your mind of the person you want to become. When David was talking about his success, right? He said, when I made the connection of who is inside of me, I was able to remove doubt out of my life. Major key. And the person he's talking about who lives inside of him is God. He said, God put his ability on my ability. Therefore, I can't fail. He said, it's impossible for me to fail. That's why he kept saying this believe stuff works for whoever works it. If you stick with this stuff, if you stick with this line of thinking, if you stick with this, this level of vibration, it's going to work. It works 100% of the time. It can't fail. He said, faith is the multiplier. When faith steps into any area of your life, you cannot fail. Faith comes by hearing. So hear everything you're believing for repeatedly. That's what I wrote, right? He said, faith is the multiplier. When faith steps into any area of your life, you cannot fail. So I wrote right under that. When faith comes by hearing, right? Faith comes by hearing, right? Faith comes by hearing. So hear everything you're believing for repeatedly because faith is the multiplier. He said, lead with love. You'll find out what your passion is when you find out what you hate. Mm. He said, great leaders lead with their hearts. He said, what he really doesn't like is poor leadership. That's how he found what his passion was because he really doesn't, it, the core leadership gets on his nerve. He said, uh, great leaders lead with their hearts. When you love as a leader, you have to love them how you met them and love them as they develop. Mm. All right, I got time for one more. One more. Let me give one that. Justin Owens. Ooh, cheap people know the cost of everything, but the value of nothing. Oh boy. He said, cheap people know the cost of everything, but the value of nothing. Please don't let that be you. Don't, don't look at the price tag of these trainings and say, oh, that costs too much because you missed it. You missed it. Oh, you missed it. Mm. It's worth every, it's, it's worth way more than what you invested. All right. 
but I, I, I'm gonna move on to this next part. I got, I got so much more, but this next part that I wanna talk about is mental contamination. See, drop some fire emojis if you're super excited coming out of this event. Drop some fire emojis if you're super excited coming out of this event. If that's you, I wanna prepare you because some people um, who spoke at the event said that this doesn't mean things won't happen in your life. So I got a little demonstration. We're going, some of y'all might not remember, but we're going to play with some water again. Remember, we, we played with water last year. I did this last year, right? I got some props. I got a bowl. I got some cups, some water. Okay. Got a bunch of water. And I have some Coca Cola. All right, so yeah, Jazz, you remember the water? So watch this. Um, we're gonna talk about some mental contamination because you're excited right now and you're leaving the environment that caused the excitement. So what we gotta do is we gotta hold on to what we learned, right? We, we gotta hold on to what we learned and what we experienced. Because those of you who went to the last event, the Dream Convention and the, um, the Skills Camp with Riyadh Jones and the Chairman Boot Camp with um, Gary Roberts and Meg, right? When you left those events, remember how you felt and what happened over time? Feeling left. How do you hold on to the feeling? Right? What happens when you leave? Why does that feeling leave? What happens is, right, this water, right, got a little cup of water. This water represents your mind after the event. Okay? It's clean. This is your excitement. Right? Your excitement is sky high. Right? This is your motivation. You're more motivated than you've ever been. This represents your faith. Your faith is extremely high right now, right? Now, the Coca-Cola, right? The Coca-Cola represents self-doubt. The Coca-Cola represents stinking thinking. The Coca-Cola represents the frustration that comes when you say, why isn't it working? I'm doing everything they told me to do. Why is it not working? This is any negative word spoken, right? So you're out the event, okay? Left the event and you're excited. Sky high. You're like, champion season, let's do it. You're about to achieve everything. Whatever I want, I can have, right? You're thinking the right way, speaking the right way. You're high off the event, right? And, and you have the, you have every intention to make the changes, right? To say the affirmations, to do everything that you learn, to, to, to take the steps that I'm giving you right now and apply. You have every intention, every desire to do those things. And then you start doing what you said you were going to do. You start doing the, the trainings and doing the calls, right? D showing the plans, giving the presentation, running the play, talking to people, prospecting, promoting, you're doing it all. And then that contamination of the mind comes in. Water starts looking cloudy. I ain't even put a lot in there. Didn't even put a lot in there, right? See, if you let negative thoughts fester, this is what happens to your excitement. If you let the responses of other people change your confession, this is what happens. The belief level comes down. Your faith gets contaminated. 
Negative speaking tolerated is faith contaminated. Right? So then you keep on working and everybody's saying no. Then you start believing, and this thing ain't working. And then you give voice to the emotion. So you start feeling like it's not working, and then you say, why isn't it working? All you did was change the address, right? You said, I'm going to my mama house, right? Who lives 15 minutes away, you ended up in Ohio because you changed the address. You changed the address, right? You change the address. Now watch this. So when you're prospecting, this is the negative thinking prospect. And this is you all excited. This is you, you're extremely excited. You're talking to everybody. You're motivated. And this is that negative prospect, right? And you are trying to convince that prospect. You're pouring into them what you received. They said no, but you think you can convince them. Didn't change their mind at all. But you're going to keep talking because you know what you got. You won't keep on talking. Still ain't changing. See, that's why we don't convince people. You see why you don't want to try to convince anybody? Huh? Can you see it clearly? You see why you don't want to try to convince anybody? Because it's not going to change their mind. You got to protect your pure excitement, your pure vision. You got you to protect right what you've heard and what you know because watch this if you don't remember somebody's always being influenced and then they can contaminate you somebody's always being influenced during the conversation right and i've seen this happen I've seen people come to me and say, Charles, how do you stay motivated? All I keep hearing is no. Everybody around me keeps saying no. They're saying that because their faith got contaminated. Instead of exposing, they're trying to convince. And you can't convince somebody whose mind, whose perception, whose paradigm is already infected See, my job is not to convince people that it makes sense to make money from a phone. That's not what we do. We don't convince people. You know what we do? We expose people to what's already working. And if they say, I want to be a part of that, we will serve them and help them. If they don't want to be a part of it, move on. Can y'all see that mental picture? Can you, can you see this physical picture? Do y'all understand what I'm saying? Drop some 777s in the chat if you understand what I'm explaining to you, right? Because you're excited right now. You're extremely excited right now. Your belief is super high, right? And, you, and watch this, something in life, got another one. Come on, Holy Spirit, keep on talking. Watch this. So something in life is going to take place over the next 90 days while you're moving towards your desires, right? Something's going to take place. This is your excitement. This is your faith, right? This is your faith. And you don't want to react to what happens. See, when you react, you can get contaminated. 
when you react, you can get contaminated, right? But what Dr. Leaf said, which was so powerful, hold on, let me make sure this. What Dr. Leaf said, which was so exciting, mm, this was good. She said, you're human. Depression or anxiety is not something that you own. It might be something you experience, but it doesn't have to be something you own. Right? And even any situation that takes place in your life while you're moving your life towards your goals, your dreams, the things that you desire, it doesn't have to contaminate you. You don't have to react to it. You can respond in faith. You can guard your emotions while you're doing this. Remember what David said, it works 100% of the time. You don't have to wonder if this stuff will work. It will work. But even as things in life come, right? Negative responses from people, right? Car breaks down. Uh, somebody you thought would run all the way to the top with you, quits the business. Back office, right? The rank reports start looking funny. People start quitting the business. People who said they wanted to learn how to trade would be committed to it. They end up not wanting to continue. None of it has to contaminate you. Ooh, good God Almighty. That's good, Lord. Ooh. When Peter was on the water, when Jesus told Peter, step out onto the water, he said, come. He said, if it's really you, Lord, right, let me back up. There's a storm, right? And the disciples are on the boat. They think they're going to die. Jesus is walking on the water, and they thought it was a ghost, right? And Jesus was like, it's me. And Peter was like, if it's really you, Lord, call me out on the water. Oh, I never even thought about that. Peter wouldn't have said that to Jesus unless he knew he had the power to tell him to do it. He trusted his mentor. It's good. He trusted his mentor. I never even seen that before. I just got that revelation. He trusted him enough to even tell him, if it's really you, call me on the water. I know you got the power to allow it to happen. That's good. That ain't even what I was talking about. That ain't even what I was going to say. But watch this. No, watch this. Watch this. So he said, if it's really you, call me on the water. So he said, come. So Peter stepped out onto water. As long as he kept his eyes on Jesus, he was walking on the water. As long as he kept his eyes on Jesus, as long as he kept his focus on the power source, he was powerful. <laughs> Jesus Christ. As long as he kept his focus on the power source, he was powerful. As long as you stay focused and pure in your excitement, in your belief, in your desires, it's going to happen. It's going to come to pass. But when Peter looked away from Jesus, when he started looking at the elements, when he started looking at the wind and the water and how it was crashing and, and the storm and the lightning, and was, when he started looking at the conditions, he began to sink. When you start looking at life's conditions, life's situations, the things that are happening around you, the things that are meant to distract you, Then you start doubting. Now your face contaminated. That's when you miss it. That's why David said, you gotta watch, watch your words, guard your mouth. 
Go, protect your vision. I've seen it for the last four and a half years. I've seen it. I've seen people say, I'm in this thing. I'm going all the way. I've seen it. I'm going all the way. I'm with you, Charles. I'm with you, Christina. I'm with you, Paris. We going to the top. Chairman season. I'm never giving up. I'm never quitting. Life condition comes. And they don't respond. They react. Faith gets contaminated. Watch this. It can be corrected. When your faith gets contaminated, right? If you catch it and you change your perception, right? It can be changed. It's going to take some work. It's still cloudy, right? It's going to take some work. But it can change. It can get better. But look how much I had to focus on the right things in order to start to see the results. Mm. That's good, Lord. Woo, I hope y'all caught that. I got to move on. I probably could milk some more juice out of that thing. I got to move on. Got Coca-Cola all on my keyboard. It's all good. I'll clean it up. I'll clean it up. That was good, man. Drop some 888s in the chat if you felt me. If you feel what I'm telling you. If you understand what I'm saying. Right? Shoot, I done made a mess, y'all. Hold on. <laughs> Drop some 888s in the chat. If you're picking up what I'm putting down, I like when I bring out the water. I like playing with water, y'all. <laughs> right? All right, we're gonna we're gonna get this back. We're gonna get back to the to the train to the last part. I'm doing pretty good on time. All right. But listen, it, it's important. This, this is extremely important to understand, right? You're welcome. It's important to understand, y'all, because, like I said, these events are only life-changing if you take the information and apply it. If you don't take the information and apply it, you just stayed excited for three days straight. That's all. If you don't take this information and apply it, you, you just got excited for three days and jumped around. Six months from now, you need to still have this excitement. And this is how you have it. Like your notes can't be just in a notebook. I need you to go back and read these notes again this week. I need you to read them again the following week and again the week after that. I need you to keep that information in front of your eye gate. Keep processing. Keep applying. Right? And the last thing I want to talk about is the chairman blueprint. Once again, how many people made, how many people made the decision to go chairman after this weekend? Right? Put, put a 333 in the chat. Made the decision to go chairman, put a 333 in the chat. Chairman is $10,000 a month, right? Now everybody, I know everybody didn't make the decision. I get it, right? Everybody did make the decision. Your awareness might have to increase a little bit more, right? Because once you understand that chairman is yours, when you decide that it's yours, see, that's what, that's what many people learned this weekend. You see, events are where real decisions are made. Events are where real decisions are made. When you get to an event, you start to raise your level of awareness, your level of awareness increases, and then you start understanding that whatever you want, you can have. It's that simple, right? That's what you begin to understand. Whatever you want, whatever it is, you can have it, okay? So if you made the decision, 
once again, right, we're going to run, we're going to talk about the play. The play doesn't change. The play does not change. Right? It's real simple. $10,000 a month is actually really, really simple. Okay? Here's the play. All right? Here's you. You. All right? It's two steps to go chairman. Just two. This is how you do it. All right? First, you want to go, of course, you want to get your first three, right? But you want to go and do that three more times, right? Right, that's a total of 12, right, people. What you want to do is you want to sponsor 12 to 15 people within a compressed period of time. 12 to 15 people within a compressed period of time. And what you want to do is help, right? You know, see this? Help three to four people go P150. And P150 is only three people. So out of 12 to 15, out of 12 to 15 people that you personally sponsor, right, you only got to identify one, two, three. Three to four of them to help them get their own three people, right? When you help three to four people that you personally sponsored, right, out of 12 to 15, you help them get their own three people, that makes you $1,000 per month in residual income. Now, what's important to understand is we're not convincing anybody. We're not convincing anybody. <laughs> what do we do, y'all? We push buttons from, from our phone and we make money, even while we're sleeping. And what we do is we expose people to the information to allow them to see what it is that we do. If they have questions, we answer their questions. And if they make the decision, that, you know what, this sounds like common sense. I know I can push a button. I know I can make some money in my sleep. And they already know how to do it. And they got successful people teaching them. That makes sense to me. I want to do it. You help 12 to 15 people make that decision. <laughs> Simple, right? Are, are we worried about the stinking thinking people? No. They say no, cool, thanks for looking. That's it, end the conversation. I think it's a pyramid scheme. Okay, cool. Thanks for taking a look. They're going to be like, you ain't going to try to convince me? No. <laughs> what am I going to do that for? <laughs> if you don't want to make money while you sleep, it's not my job to change your perception. I'm just trying to show people who are excited about making money from a phone. If you can't get excited about that, conversation done. If it doesn't make sense to you, cool. I, I just need a yes or a no. Just tell me quickly. If it's no, tell me no. Cool, I'll find somebody else who wants to make money in their sleep. See, people don't like being rejected. And people don't like feeling like you don't need them. They think you're telling them because you need them, but you're not. You're really trying to help somebody. See, love is motivating us to want to tell people about this because we don't have to. We don't have to tell a soul. We can just push buttons and make money, <laughs> right? That's it. And even if you're on this webinar, you say, I don't want to do that. Guess what? You don't have to. Just pay your monthly fee. That's it. All right? Understand that this is a skill. You got to continue to, your education just like if you were going to get a doctorate or just like you, if you were becoming a lawyer, just like if you were becoming a mechanic, right? You just got to continue your education. It's, this is not a get rich quick scheme, right? You actually got to keep learning so you can master the skill of making money from a phone. If you don't want to tell anybody about this, you don't have to. 
But understand that monthly fee is coming every 30 days, right? But if you get tired of that monthly fee, then it would be wise to let us help you get rid of it by helping two people get started, help the third person get started, you got a residual income. It's that simple, right? And we'll coach you and teach you how to do that, right? But watch this, back to the blueprint. Step number one, help 12 to 15 people get started within a compressed period of time, within really, we want to do that as quickly as possible, right? And help three to four of them go back to 150. Now, that's step number one. That gets you $1,000 a month, right? $1,000 a month. Watch this. $1,000 a month. Next step. Out of all the people within your organization, you only need to help seven to 10 of them do the same thing. <laughs> help seven to 10 people do the same thing. Help them do step number one that I just explained. Help seven to 10 of them who say, hey, I want to go get $1,000 a month. When you help seven to 10 people follow that blueprint that I just laid out, that's going to get you $10,000 a month in residual income as a chairman 10. It's that simple. Two-step process. Now, it's simple, but it takes effort. It takes focus. That's all. It's possible. It's simple. There's a blueprint to success here. And guess who taught us this? David E. Monitia, the guy who makes $1.8 million a month. So like I said, Peter wouldn't have asked Jesus to tell me to step out on the water unless he understood he had the power to instruct him and get the results. Do you think David E. Monitia has the power to instruct us to help us get results? Do you think he knows what he's doing? <laughs> See, I don't have to wonder or guess if this is going to work. I don't have to because I've already seen it work in his life. The, the, Peter had the confidence to ask Jesus, tell me to get on the water if it's really you because he saw him work already. He saw what he can do. He knew he had the power to instruct him and get results. Is this making sense? Y'all, anybody understand what I'm saying? Anybody, I'm getting, I'm preaching, Lord, I, I hear you, Father. I'm, I'm preaching myself happy. Y'all get this? Are y'all understanding what I'm saying? Right? Drop some fives in the chat, five, five, five in the chat, if you understand what I'm saying right now. This thing is good. Help seven to 10 people do step one, you're at $10,000 a month, right? Now, like I said, this weekend was life changing. What we learned was that we're in control of our results, right? We learned that we're in control of our results. We learned that we direct our results by what we focus on, by what we say, by what we pay attention to, by what we affirm, by what we declare and decree, by what we focus on, right? I ain't got no more water. We gotta keep our excitement high, right? We gotta keep our belief high, trust the plan, trust the process, follow the plan, run the play, right? We, we made, like, myself, Christina, and Paris, we organized this thing in such a way where 24 hours a day, somebody can hear this information within 12 minutes through the Facebook group, 
There's a video right there available to you 24 hours a day. As fast as you want to move, you can move. If you want people to hear this information, right, you can leverage the live call opportunity calls we do throughout the week. And you got a Facebook group with plenty of proof in it, with a testimonial, with testimonials all over the group and a 12 minute video that can educate anybody on what it is that we do. Think about that. 24 hours a day. And we, like the reason why it's there is because we've seen people go P600, $600 a month, 12 people sponsored in one day using that group. All it is is excitement. That's all. We've seen it happen. I've seen people go platinum 1,000 in 72 hours using the Facebook group. We know it works. That's why it's there. But you got to trust the process. You actually have to use it. The play didn't change. The play been the same for four and a half years and it's still working for people all over the world. And it'll work for you too. It will work for you too, right? But watch this, the key, the key, right? Those set, those uh, 12 to 15 people in step one, those 12 to 15 people in step one, you wanna do that within a compressed period of time. And watch this, if the people around you I need some water. Hold up. This is good. I need some water. Wait one second. All right. If the people around you if the people around you <laughs> if the people around you say no there's 7 billion people on planet Earth. Your success is not compressed to the people that know you by first name. You gotta understand that. You gotta believe. There, there's people out there who are attached to your yes. And that's why I developed the apex belief series to one, right? I mean, there's nothing better than the I believe experience, right? So you just got it this weekend. But at the end of the apex belief, I go through the, the how to's, the one to 10% of success, it's right in there. How do you keep going when everybody around you says no? What do I do after that? The instructions is right there. You just gotta follow them. Maintain your confidence. Maintain your confidence. Maintain your belief in this system. And we trade, y'all know we trade. We about to get to that part right now. <laughs> so you ain't gotta worry about that. We trade, <laughs> we trade. Shout out to Bitcoin, we trade, <laughs> right? You ain't gotta worry about that. It ain't about you. It ain't about your, it ain't, oh my God, I wish y'all could understand this. I'm gonna say this and then we're gonna get the Skittles. People think that I need personal trading results in order for people to believe in this thing. That's so far from the truth, it's not even funny. People do not care about how much money you made. They're lying to you. Don't let them lie to you. They don't care how much money you made. Right? When they see the information, well, how you doing with it? How much money have you made? They don't really care. This is how you respond. If I tell you how much money I made, no matter what number I say, will you get started? Tonight. Because if you're asking me how much money I made, right? And I tell you how much money I made, that proves that it's possible to push a button on the phone and make money. So if I tell you, right? If I tell you how much money I made to this point, do you have the 275 that it takes to get started today or the $210 to get started today. If you're on the promotion, if you're watching this recording in the future, do you have the 325 for the elite package today? Or do you have the 235 for 
the the uh, forex package, the HFX package to get started right now, right? Because if they have the all right, of course, if they have the audacity to ask, ask them right back. Listen, I'll tell you how much I made. But are you getting started right now? Do you have the money to get started? Because if we're if we're going to talk about how much money I'm making for opportunity that's for your life, and I give you that information, then there needs to be a transaction about to take place. See, you're a business professional, y'all. You got to look at this like a business. That's that, you got to look at this like a bit. You're a business professional, and, and watch this. You're having a conversation to help them. You got the cookie, like I always like to say. You got something that everybody in planet Earth needs. Making money from a phone even while they sleep. And that's attractive. That just sounds so attractive to me. And you have to act accordingly. Act like you got something that everybody needs. So don't let people switch this thing up on you and make you feel like Forex is on trial or you're on trial when you have the opportunity that to help their children's children. Right? And you can do that tastefully. It doesn't have to be a rude conversation. It's all about how you say things. If you say things with a smile, it comes across better. Like, you ugly. <laughs> right? <laughs> it just looks better when you say it with a smile. But if you be like, you ugly. That's fighting words. When your face look like that, when you so ugly. That's fighting words. No, no, uh, uh, uh. Don't do that. Hey, listen. You so ugly. <laughs> you say it's smiling. It sounds different, right? <laughs> watch this. So I want to make a point. So watch this, right? If, if somebody says, "Well, how much money are you making?" Well, listen. If you, if I tell you how much money I'm making, you ready to get started right now? You ready? You ready right now? Because I'm approved that it works by telling you how much it. Do you? Are you ready to move forward? See, it, it doesn't have to come across rude. If you say it with a smile, it sounds better. It looks better. But you mean business because you're serious about it. And if it's no, listen, it's okay to be like, listen, if it's no, just tell me no. I'll find somebody else who's going to make money while they sleep. Just tell me no. It's okay. I'm not trying to convince you, right? Not trying to turn this into an uncomfortable conversation at all. Right? If it's a friend, if it's a family member, look, I love you. You're still going to be my cousin. You're still going to be my uncle. You're still going to be my brother. You're still going to be my friend. It's cool. If you don't want to do it, just tell me no. I'll find somebody else who wants to do it. I just thought that we could make some money together. But if, if it's not for you, just tell me no. It's cool. Right? Because then it diffuses the situation, makes it a regular conversation. And if you, if you, if you get excited about this and do exactly what you've learned this weekend, what you learned on this webinar tonight. P1000 can be done this, this week. The P1000 can be done in the next 72 hours if you want it to be. Like, like literally, this thing will get to the point where people are joining this thing. A thousand people a day in our organization is joining this thing. 50 travelpreneurs, 50 chairman traders is done. It's done. And you're going to be one of them. But like I said, there is a shift in activity, a shift in the way you look at this business, a shift in how you operate in your life. There has to be a switch, a level of accountability, right? I wrote this word down. David Imonitie David said this word, and I thought it was the perfect word. There has to be a resolve a resolve, you're going to be resolute about your future. This is what my future is gonna be and I'm not stopping until I see it. And it, it's not gonna happen, this thing is not gonna take forever because I'm gonna make sure it don't take forever. I'm willing to do what other people aren't willing to do. I'm gonna go make it happen, right? Drop some 777s in the chat, that's you. Ready to make this?